This is Working with Letters from the Axelson Academy. The Common Core Reading Foundational Skills at the Kindergarten level develops letter sound correspondence. Standard RFK-1D states, demonstrate understanding of the organization and basic features of print. Recognize and name all upper and lower case letters of the alphabet. We will be looking at introducing upper and lower case letters to your students, letter recognition, letter identification and naming, building fluency and speed in naming those letters, and additional strategies for letter recognition and naming for struggling students. As you introduce the letters and sounds to your students, please keep in mind that students encounter many more lowercase letters in print than uppercase letters. Make certain that you instruct both the upper and lowercase letters. I tend to emphasize the lowercase symbols even more than the uppercase. As you teach the skill of recognizing and naming the letters, begin by having students simply recognize the letters. For example, give a student a paper with the letters you have taught and ask them to point to the letter M. This allows the teacher to identify the letter name. The child must be able to locate that letter. The student would move from left to right and point out all of the letter M's on the page. The next step up from identifying letters the teacher has named is to identify the name of the letter independently. A list of letters, such as this one, can be displayed and the student can point to the letters and identify the letter name. By mid-year, students should be able to identify 27 random letters in a one-minute time span. By the end of the year, students should be able to identify 40 random letters in a one-minute time span. This rate of recognition will indicate fluency in letter identification and will be necessary for students to quickly decode words. Students will read from left to right and top to bottom of the page, reinforcing print concepts M, S, F, A, T, P, N. This type of letter fluency work can be done in one of two ways. Many teachers decide to put a list of letters like this one in front of the whole class and have students chorally identify the letters, taking about one minute of their whole group instructional time. Teachers can further support students who need additional work on letter identification in small groups or individually by doing the same sort of letter identification task. Always bring the reading skills back to real-world connected text. Have students identify specific letters visible in the classroom as part of the posters on your walls, your board, or in sentence strips. Students that further struggle with letter ID will find kinesthetic activities such as tracing letters in the sand or shaving cream, creating letters out of Play-Doh, and writing letters in the air valuable in locking the letter formation into their long-term memory. This has been a look at how kindergarten teachers aid their students in the recognition and naming of all upper and lowercase letters of the alphabet working with letters from the Axelson Academy.